Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Giles Gate Primary School. If you're in reception class and our year one class, you'll be coming back to school on the 15th of June. So I'm going to show you around so you can see what the school's going to look like because it's going to look a little bit different. One thing I want you to notice is that on the ground you'll see that we have some orange lines that are two metres apart. This is just so that you and your mums and dads, when you come into school, can keep that social distance that's so important. One thing we must be careful about on this main path into school is that um, we must try and avoid crossing each other. So if you see someone who's about to walk up the path, just wait to one side and let them pass safely before you go down. Mums, dads, carers and visitors to the school, there may be times when you need to come to the school office and in exactly the same way we're observing a very strict protocol on one in, one out so that we can observe social distancing. You can follow the yellow line, the orange lines which are two metres apart and wait here. If somebody is in the office you'll be able to see them clearly through the glass doors. Please wait for them to leave and then it will be your turn to go in. Once you leave, please look closely at the ground and follow the orange arrows so that you're leaving safely in one way system and observing or reducing the, the, the proximity of people getting to, towards each other. This is Bancroft School to help. As we bring more, more children and more pods back into school, it is really, really important that you arrive with your child for your pod at the time that we've stipulated. This gives us the opportunity to have sufficient time between each pod coming so that parents from that pod can leave before the next pod arrives. There are certain points of the school where we're going to get pinches or bottlenecks where parents could congregate and pass each other in close proximity. This is one of them, and so you can see we've got arrows on the ground here to help people understand the one-way system that we've got. The school gates are another pinch point, and um, at the, at the, edge, of the edge of the school building here is another pinch point. This is why it's really, really important that you arrive on time with your child for your pod so that we can restrict or limit the number of possibilities of parents crossing each other's paths. Thank you for observing that. So if you're in one of the reception pods that's coming back to school, at your expected time of the morning, you will come and line up on one of the orange lines outside of the reception classroom. And here we are with our reception team. Want to say hello guys? Hi. So one of the pods is going to be taught by Mrs Bancroft, one of our other pods is going to be taught by Mrs Perry and Mrs Hall. And for our children with a hearing impairment we have Miss Rayson and also Mrs Forsyth coming into school to work with us and help us. Um, so this is where we'll line up, we'll keep our social distance and you'll be entering through these doors into the reception classroom and the second pod in the nursery space. Let's go and have a look inside and see how different it is and in some ways how it's going to be the same as well. Hi everyone, if you're in my pod in reception we're going to be using this classroom. We're coming over to bring our coats, we will hang them up here and if it is um, sunny you will need to bring a sun hat as well. Please do remember to bring a raincoat every day because even if it's bright in the morning it might be wet later on and we will be going outside every day. Hiya. You, everybody needs to bring a water bottle. It needs to be full with water and you come and put it over on the snack table ready to use when you need it during the day. You'll notice that the classroom is looking a little bit different now. We don't have all the equipment out and the toys, 
but don't worry, we will be getting things out each day. What we'll do is we'll be able to play with them together and then at the end of the day, we will wash those toys and so they're clean, ready for the next day. Hi, if you're in the other pod with Mrs Hall or Mrs Perry, you're going to be coming through this way into the nursery room. If you're in Mrs Perry or Mrs Hall's pod, you'll come and hang your coats up here and then you'll come into the nursery room. And this is where we put our water bottles. This is what the nursery room looks like. And just like the next door, you can't see the toys out at the moment, but we will be putting things out each day, and at the end of the day, we'll be washing those resources. At lunchtime, the packed lunches will be brought down to our rooms. So my pod will be eating in our room, and Mrs Perry and Mrs Hall's pod will be eating here. We'll eat those packed lunches together. When we've finished, the lunchtime supervisors will come and take our pods out onto the yard. When we come in in the morning, we're going to be coming to wash our hands. The children from the reception room are going to be using the stepping stones, the spots that Mr Turner is using, and they're going to be using the sinks and the toilets over there. The children who are using the nursery room will be following the arrows where Mrs Hall is and using the sinks and the toilets there. We will keep these toilets separate throughout the day, so each pod will be using different toilets and different sinks. We will also be making sure that the children are washing their hands regularly. Hi everyone. Having spoken to you during the school closure, I'm very aware that a lot of you are very anxious about children returning to school. As a school, we are working to build your confidence and therefore have taken a measured and phased approach to children returning. If you would like to speak to me further about this, please do not hesitate to phone me.